We're just talking about field service. Come on, Mark. How much? <laughs> Sure, I'm Saxena Romano, I'm EVP and GM of Field Service. So, I need to make a little slight correction because it's not just Field Service Lightning, it's Salesforce Field Service. Right, um, and so our product is all about bringing the right people, resources to the right job at the right time to get right work, the right work done. So, if you imagine Salesforce's evolution, we went from sales to uh, helping our customers service. And then when you're calling in for a service case, actually send someone out to get them fixed. And that's how we ended up going into field service, sending technicians out for a brake fix and then installation. And now like routine maintenance and operations as well. Oh, so many industries. When I took on this role, I discovered so many more use cases. So the most obvious is manufacturing, right? So a manufacturer of good um, with our hardware, machinery, et cetera, and getting them serviced. So that feels natural, but there's, um, we have customers in automotive utilities, um, think about ho uh, medical devices as an example. Um, the one that we do a lot of actually is like home services and facilities management, campus. So think of like bathrooms and campus facilities that need to get clean. It's all about getting, when you need to schedule people um, or equipment and resources into a space and you need to get them to be in the field, complete work and get it done. And so there's, I like to say that we help the teams operate um, and the communities operate in a lot of different places. So for example, we are, um, we power AAA roadside assistance. Um, we power pets that get groomed with pet grooming. Um, we have uh, all like all the porta potties around the US, for example, are, are managed through us. Um, lots of different use cases. Um, Caterpillar, obviously, and Warren Caterpillar was a customer that we actually showcased at Dreamforce this week, and so many different customers. Yeah. It, I mean, Here's the thing for me, uh, my father was a contractor. We had a contracting business. We climbed up on a roof and, you know, installed like those, you know, those dishes, satellite dishes. And so for me, a lot of that was about getting a technician up to complete the work. And so much of our technicians, it's so hot out there. They don't have the right tools. They show up and their customer's not there because they haven't scheduled the time. And so all of that is inefficiency in, and we've all had that experience of someone coming into our house. I mean, and think of that at an enterprise scale. For example, I come and fix an elevator in an office building and then two days later I have to come back again. That is actually a lot of miles driven and that's a big impact to our planet, right? We're here with the sustainability at Dreamforce, like that's a huge, huge factor. The other thing that we now do a lot more and customers are doing is around remote assistance and self-service. So being able to actually limit the reason we actually prevent a truck roll to go out in the first place by actually helping those customers. So that's why it's a, it's a really great business to be in. I think you see a lot of people everywhere I look, there's like field service and like how things like even setting up this entire event. Mark, we're just talking about field service. Come on. Mark, how much? <laughs> Let's talk about how great field service is growing because of Taxina's great leadership. She's taking this product to another level. Have you seen her AI announcements? They're unbelievable. She's doing a great job. Thanks. There you go. This is why field service is incredibly <laughs> awesome. Unexpected treat. That is a treat. There you go. There you have it. <laughs> you know, that's it. End of story. Drop my. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the best. You're like, I'm a, in my archives. Um, AI in the front line is very, very powerful, right? And so I talk about this a lot that technicians, they're not going away, right? We need our technicians, we need our mobile workers, our healthcare workers out there. But guess what? We can use tools to complete their work faster. The productivity in the field, that's like, we can change this. And I'd have this saying right now, which is 
I want every technician to complete work as fast as possible and as safely as possible, get home and have dinner with their kids. And AI is going to allow them to do that because they're not sitting around for 20 minutes trying to just like, you know, do all their documentation. They don't have all the information they need or they've missed an opportunity to get revenue really quickly. And so some of the innovation we're doing is how quickly can you like, I used five things in the truck and I now can bill for that really quickly and be able to like pay now, get the customer to sign the order and pay now for those items. That is changing the game, especially for so many small organizations out there, contractors who need to work and they need to get paid right away. So I'm very excited about what this can do for all of our customers. I mean, this is the AI conference, but you didn't ask about data. And as an, as an Aussie, I'm going to say data. So that's why it's important. But like data is like the foundation of getting our information correctly for our technicians. So if you think about what AI needs to be able to do for technicians, it's about pre-briefing them. So they actually on the way to work, on the way to the job, they know and have everything that they need. When they're there, they want to be able to search and get answers quickly, right? And AI can help us get that the right information. There's so um, there's such a high turnover right now and shortage of labor markets that being able to train technicians fast enough on the job, AI is going to help us get that information quickly. And then at the end of it, wrap up a job. And it's very hard right now um, to be able to complete work really quickly. But look what AI can do. It can summarize work and generate a response. So all the work that you've done, so you've got a really nice summary. You can take pictures, it can classify those images, your voice to texting. There's so many multimodal experiences in the phone that AI can do. And that's just the generative capability. There's so many, so much of the predictive that, you know, we should tap into. And that's on the mobile side. And obviously for our technicians, that's co-pilot everywhere. Thank you so much for your time. That was brilliant. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>